Hello and welcome back to another Top Biz Guides tutorial. In this video, we'll be creating a task for a job in Clockify. So what is a task? A task is another layer of customizable information that we're adding for our time entries. So that's kind of confusing. Let me show you what it looks like in the settings. So if we go into the settings from the sidebar and then scroll down on the general tab, we'll see organized time by. And here we have task, right? So this could also be called activity or job area, or I could even customize it. And client, maybe I have departments or a category. And if I change it, it'll actually change my sidebar as well. So now I'd be adding departments, not clients. So it really depends on the type of business that you have. So for example, if I have locations instead of jobs, I could select location and look, this will be changing on my sidebar as well. And now I'd be adding locations and not jobs. So now let's look at how this is reflected in the time tracker. So we have client job and task. So time tracker. So here's the job and here's the client. However, where's the task? We don't see the task. So we actually have to create the task. So there's two ways of doing this. There's, this is the quick way. We could click the job. And right now we see that there's no task created for content creator or copywriter. And we could just simply click create task. And then we'll create it and we see that it's been added right now. Another way of doing it is going to jobs from the sidebar and then clicking on the relevant job. And then going to the task tab and then adding it from here. Right. And then you can also edit it. Mark is done. And then that will allow you to delete it as well or activate it again. There's also some additional information that you could tweak over here. And that's it. Now, another good thing about tasks is that you can track it and report. So you can filter by the task in the report. And that really gives you that extra edge of information. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.